Goten, Trunks, you have to go. Now, I'll hold him off. But Gohan, guys, there's no time. Just go. Gohan, we can't leave you here. Trunks is right, Gohan. We can't leave you. We already lost Dad and Mr. Piccolo. It's okay, guys. Trust me. Go back to the past. Find Dad and warn him. I'll be fine. Promise. Or they could even respond. Gohan pushes them away, getting them to safety. Oh, well, isn't that cute? Oh, the mighty Super Saiyan protecting his little friends. <laughs> Too slow, Cell. <laughs> you can't beat me alone, Cell. But you look so tired. Go, Han. <laughs> Even in this state, you're no match for me, Cell. The two clash, shaking the earth. Go, Han has the advantage. Kicks him down. It fires a Kamehameha. The beam coming straight towards Cell. Until... I don't think so. The beam is stopped by Sin Shinron. He throws Gohan to the side and makes his way towards Cell. Don't! I was, I'm sorry, I, wo I won't. Now then, Gohan, I have plans for you. Goku went Super Saiyan Part 3 The two arrive in a wasteland where the Saiyans and Piccolo are training. Goten and Trunks both explain the tragedy of the future. It all started with the androids, 19 and 13 wreaking havoc in cities, blowing up cities before the Z Fighters arrive. Dr. Jiro trying to escape isn't ended by Vegeta. And the Z Fighters thought the problem was solved. The Z Fighters then gather all the Dragon Balls to make a wish to restore the damage done by the androids. However, Black Smoke Shinron came out the Dragon Balls. The Z Fighters, not seeing this as an issue, thinking this is another form of Shinron, is completely wrong. The Shadow Dragons were born, causing even more havoc on the earth. You remember my previous what if? It was when King Piccolo restored the Dragon Balls, but he was evil and he instilled his evil energy, Dragon Balls. Thus, birthing Black Smoke Shinron. So if you would like to catch up, I recommend watching the first two parts. Now, back to the story. Goten explains how the Z Fighters spread out and tried fighting each dragon, and they were doing well up until Sin Shinron. The Z Fighters did everything in their power but it just wasn't enough. The Z Fighters fell one by one in a last ditch effort. Goku grabbed Shinron's Dragon Ball and he flew to the sun, throwing the Dragon Ball into the sun. Sin Shinron began to disappear. Goku flying back to Earth is seeing a big red energy surrounding Sin Shinron and his plan is to destroy the Earth. So he throws the ball of energy at Earth. Goku jumping right into the blast and tanking it, mustering all his power to stay alive and to protect the earth. But it, it just wasn't enough. And the blast completely consumes Goku. However, Goku did save the earth. Before Sin Shinron completely disappeared, he dissipated into one more Dragon Ball, staying alive and recovering energy inside that ball. Gohan, being the last Z fighter alive, is in complete tears and in a complete rage until a blue haired woman comes down and puts her hand on his shoulder, telling him that it'll be okay. Reminding Gohan that Planet Namek 
has dragon balls and all they have to do is go to that planet and make a wish on the dragon balls but unfortunately the namics actually moved their planet because of what frieza did by taking over their planet so now they're left in a conundrum where all their friends are dead and there's nothing they can do about it several years pass and the damage from the shadow dragons are all repaired a new city is built and it's called sun city in honor of the hero that saved the earth sun goku the new hero known as gohan oversees everything going on patrol with two heroes named goten and trunks stopping local thieves protecting the neighborhoods then one day an explosion is heard in a city called sun city and a green lizard appears to be attacking everything and everyone johan goten and trunks race to the scene to find semi-perfect cell destroying the city gohan in complete disgust rushes at the lizard man goten and trunks begin to follow suit but gohan holding them back telling them this is out of their pay grade the fight is incredible then my perfect cell punches gohan gohan begins to block and the city and earth is shaking with the intensity of the fight gohan asks the villain who are you i'm cell i was created by dr jiro but now i serve a new master do you know who <laughs> what what are you talking about cell is beginning to be enveloped by purple aura and then begins to dominate gohan not even super saiyan 2 is enough to fend off the foe now trucks and goten jump in helping out gohan but it's just not enough all three saiyans thrown across the world only to be stopped by cell himself and punching them all into the ocean a dragon ball appears right on top of Cell's forehead and a familiar voice comes out of the creature's mouth they completely stunlock Gohan. I, th I thought you were dead how my father he gave up his life how are you still alive Dragon Ball disappears. The purple aura emanating from Cell dissipates and his power soon getting lower by the second. Johan, seeing this as an opening, yells out Solar Flare, grabbing Goten and Trunks and getting out of there. The boys begin to explain that Gohan was their mentor, not only brother. He trained him, raised him, he stopped semi-perfect cells, attacks on the cities, and eventually, they all grew powerful. They would always stop Cell, but every time they were close to defeating him, Sin Shinron would lend them his power. So they hatched a plan with Bulma to go back to the past. And all was going well and according to plan until Cell attacked Capsule Corp. Goku taking in all the information, looks at Goten and Trunks and gives them a hug, telling them they must have been through a lot, saying he's so proud of them, and it was good that they came to the future toward them, promising them nothing like that would happen ever again. Goten and Trunks, feeling hopeful, thanks Goku for everything, and asking if they can train with him. Goku saying, of course, it won't just be me though, we got Gohan, we got Vegeta, we got Nappa, and Piccolo, of course. We got Grandpa, Master Roshi, and a little something to get us started. And we'll leave off this part here. Sorry for the short one, but next week, you're in for a thriller. If you enjoyed the content, please remember to subscribe and like. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.